Hello, good morning, everyone, or good evening, or good night, whatever your, your uh, time you're watching this video. This is another version of coffee and video. On this uh, version of coffee and video, we will be talking about the six Halo figures. I've been sitting on these Halo figures a little too long, so it's time to crack them open and see what these Halo figures are all about. Besides, we're getting closer to the end of the year, and then I didn't do it last year, but I'm going to do it this year. And at the end of the year, we're gonna, I'm going to try to find out what my favorite figure I enjoy so far this, so far this year. So, um, I'm going to do this video a little bit more different. I don't want to make the video 20, 30 minutes long. But what I am going to do, I'm going to pick two figures out of, of the, the, um, the regular figures and other ones. And other figures. And I'm going to see, and I'm going to give you the matchup of articulation. What I think about them, and then I'll put the video together at the end, and I show you who I will go through all the accessories, who accessories go with who, blah 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 blah. So uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna cut away. When I next time I come back, all six of these figures will be out of the packaging. So don't go nowhere. If you do come back, and um, if you're a coffee drinker, you, um, you get yourself a cup of coffee. If you're a tea drinker. There's some some people out there are tea drinkers. Get you some tea. And if you're younger, don't drink no coffee or tea. Get yourself a glass of water. Or better what? Get yourself some real orange juice. No Sunny D. So I'll be right back. I'm going to open them up. We want to check these figures out. And don't go nowhere, folks. Hey, right, guys. I finally got everything out of the packages. I mess with a lot of toys. Before I show off the whole line, I'm going to show you off two figures that you got to be a little worried about. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. Figure, uh oh. I've got to do that. Give me a second. Figure number one. And figure number two. Now, Anybody who's been following me for the longest time, no, no, I don't own an Xbox. No, I don't play Halo. No, I don't. I never played it. But anybody also been watching my channel know that when I love a cool toy, I love a cool toy. Now, the reason why I point out these two figures right here, this figure right here would be zip tied. Oh, man, I'll show that later. Uh, this figure would be zip tied in by the waist, and this figure would be zip tied in by the hand. And if you go ahead and don't pay attention where the zip tie is at, um, you'll pull the figure. When you try to pull the figure out, you will pop the um the top part off. It's easy to pop back on. It's really easy to pop back on. And I'll show you that. This one will be zip tied um into the back. So what I would do is this is what I do is. I'm just going to show you, take it, this side. I'm going to move these figures out the way one more time. You see the back of this packaging? Now, this is the wrong packaging, but what I would do is, you'll see two, you'll see a hole here and a hole here. Take it out of the packaging. Pull the little zip tie as tight as you can get. You can take a pair, you can take a pair of scissors or whatever's sharp, not too sharp. Snip it, and it'll pop right out with no problem. Now, another thing we're going to go through is the bases. Now, I messed up the bases. I'm not going to lie. So, everybody probably not on the, the correct base. Maybe the only ones on the correct base is probably on Master Chief and uh, everything. So, um, I'm going to go through. Let me show you the bases. Each base is different. I think it's more dealing with how the character. Let me pull this camera up just a little bit. Dealing with more how the character is. This base got a little bit more like mud and grass on there. And you do have the two peg holes, one right here. Now, some of these peg holes, you might have to figure, figure around a little bit. Like, I'll give you an example. Um, with this guy, I had to change this, this foot on this side because I think his, this hole was smaller than that one. Um, this is his, his correct accessory. Um, these um, stands can be connected together. Let me take off this guy, and I'll I'll go back. To, I'll get back to him in a second about him and his pieces. Now these stands could be connected together, but you can connect 
them together any way you really want to. It's like a hexagon type shape. Now, you see how those bottoms are? So what I do is I pretty much would just try to find a, a pattern. So try to connect them together like that. So what you do is you're going to take it. You're going to make this, you see this flat piece? Go with this piece and you're just going to go ahead and just take this piece and this piece. Just did that so easily for the first time. That piece and that piece and tie it to connect it together. But it's up to you how you want to do it and then put that piece into there. Like so. Um, I'm not going to drill and stay on this too long. But you can connect these two. You can connect all your stands together. And I think that is kind of cool. Like that. You just take this piece. Connect it like that. And then connect the other piece. Like that. I'm struggling right now. There you go. And that's how they connect together. Um, this guy right here. When he comes out of the packaging. Um. You do have a, um, if you look at the bottom of his, um, his card art, it shows you how to put his back pieces on, I'll give you a back bling, um, on, um, and they will go light on the back right here, like so. Now, if you're not going to sell, ooh, I got the upside down, if you're not going to sell your figures, if you want to, these sit kind of loose. If you want to, you can put like a little bit dab of glue and you can glue them in. His helmet does come off right there. You can take the helmet off. I love the head sculpt. I think it's awesome looking. I love how he looks. It's one probably my, one of my favorites. I might just go, I'm going to go ahead and just glue mines in. Soon I find what the heck I did with my glue. Um, This guy right here, I'm going to take him off the stand. Um, you see his back part where you can peg in. I tried to peg his gun in. But this plastic, it was kind of soft. So when I tried to peg it in, it didn't go in all the way. It kept on bending in. Now it's going in. I, I tell you, boy. <sighs> Never mind. The first time it wouldn't go in, but now it's going in. It's pegged in like I want to. Um... I won't go too articulate. Oh, and this guy right here. I like I don't know the, the names, but maybe somebody who watched Halo could give me the comments. Now he has a double hinge. Ah. He has a double hinge. He has a hinge here. He has a hinge down here. Now this one I had to warm up with some hot water to get it to move. So after I got the hot water on there, it moves pretty, uh, pretty decently. He does have an articulated jaw. And um, it does stay open, as you can see. And I dropped this guy. Now, the only downside about this guy that whoever glued his back pieces on, they glued it on crooked. You see how crooked that is? Now, I'm trying to get him lined up just straight. Even his butt piece is even glued on crooked. So, I might have to, I'm going to fix that myself. I'm going to pop those off. Uh, like I said, I got to find my glue and try to straighten them up. I'm not trying to get them even as possible. If you notice, that is on crooked. So let's go through articulation. So we're going to go articulate. I'm going right, to cut away. Then I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way because I want to get articulation. I'm going to use, I think the figures it will give you the main um, problem is you're going to have the different articulation in a basic figure. So I'm going to use this one. And the only guy that I know in Halo in Master Chief. So I'm going to cut away. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. And I'm going to also put my one of my favorite figures out of the line. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. And we're going to check this out. All right, guys. We're back. I'm going to use this guy first for um his articulation right now. Like I said, he does have a double hinge. He has a hinge in the upper top part of the neck. I'm going to turn off the light a little bit. You probably can see that better. In the upper part of the neck, you see how that is right here, and you do have it also in the lower part of the neck. You can get it to go down even more range of motion. You can get the arms to go about that far up on both sides. His legs are on ball joints, as you can see right here. 
that can go in and out. His oh, that's hold up. This part is I have did warm this up, but it's not well. It's not going to move out that far. But this range of motion is going to go about that far. You do got a articulation in the bottom of the foot. And like I said, for the you do have two peg holes at the bottom, and you do have a little bit of range of motion also in the um, arm, and you can get the head to go left and right, and I also tell you you do have an articulated jaw, jaw, lower part of the jaw, not the upper part. I'm trying to get it where you can see it one more time. So that's pretty much his articulation on that guy. And I don't know what his correct stand is, but. I'm just gonna put them on the stand. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to Master Chief and we're gonna wrap this up. And I'm also gonna give you final thoughts on what I feel about these figures. And I hate when I have a video that's going all over the board. I put them on the leg. All right, here's Master Chief. He can pack his gun on the back, as you can see right there. I'll move his gun just for a second. His head can go left and right, up and down. You can get his arms to go that far forward up. Rotation. Um, he also on he's more on a T joint, as you can see right there. Let's go like a like a ball of right going across it there. He can get to go forward, backwards, double knee, rotation that's a Bottom, bottom of the foot. Um, you do get about 90 degree bend on the elbow, and you get rotation on the hand. They can go all around. This has a vertical hinge. Let's see. Yes, it does have a vertical hinge to put the gun in. So you do get the up and down movement. And I um all around, I I love these figures. I enjoy them. I think the price range is on point. Um um, if you're into Halo, buy them. Buy them. Most definitely buy. Um, if you're into um, not Halo figures at all, um, you just want something to use to... to, to we can't really miss and match them with Joes because they're a little taller than your Joes, even, your, even, the, newer, even the newer Joes. Um, um, but uh, if, you like, if you like Halo figures, if you just like... like military type figures or army building and this is the way to go my friend this is the way to go i love him i i enjoy him um i'll buy more of them i i had done review on the the, the the mac i love that i thought it was a good deal um for the price range i think the price range for the articulation is pretty good um i think what i like with jazz was going with the, the halo stuff and also other lines that they deal with um unfortunately they won't have um um, um, the Fortnite um, line anymore. That's going to Hasbro. As a matter of fact, Hasbro already have that line. So, um, um, that's that's a different story for a different day. Um, so everybody have a good day, good night, enjoy your collection. And this is your man, Holly Man out. Be safe out there. And I'll talk to y'all guys later on the next time you view the Holly Man. And I'm going to put this together and put it on my shelf. And I didn't want to waste no more of your time. So be safe. Enjoy your collection. And thank you for my new subscribers. And um, that's all, folks. Talk to you later.